I'm at the Greater New York Dental Meeting, and I ran into a buddy of mine, Larry Brent, uh, who's been a dentist from Tufts since, what, 80, 88. 88. And um, you have something really interesting, and it's a, uh, it's a different type of anesthesia. And the reason I brought him over here to talk about it is... Dentists always get together and they always tell me the importance of uh, same day crowns and then and, and that's just like this the biggest movement in dentistry is that all these patients want same day crowns and I, I don't know what you're talking about because I've been a dentist for 30 years and when I tell a patient their tooth's broken, half the questions are, well how much is it going to cost and will my insurance pay and can I make payments <laughs> and care credit and all that and then we get done with that, then it switches to pain. Well am I going to get a shot, is it going to hurt, can you give me laughing gas, can you put me to sleep, blah 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 and then it's well, what is it going to look like? You know, is it going to look blah, blah, And all, the only thing the dentist heard was, well, I want it in the same day. It's like, that, that's the only thing I never even did here. And that's all everybody's talking about. And when I walked by you, and you got a different mousetrap for the age-old problem, and so I don't even know about it. Tell, tell us all about it. It's Numby. Okay, so the, the product is called Numby, and it is basically a single-tooth anesthesia system. Uh, the unit basically, as you'll see here, is a small cannula that will connect to a ligamentary style syringe or to any traditional syringe that you have in your own office. The interesting thing about this product is there is no needle. Howard, you can feel the end there. There's nothing that'll poke you. There's nothing that'll hurt you. You can let a kid do that in the operatory. Um, the basic principle that this works by is that the plastic cannula goes into the gingival sulcus. You seat it to the base of the periodontal ligament and then draw back a little bit and begin slowly to let anesthetic seep into the periodontal ligament. The tissue will blanch. Generally, it takes about two to three clicks per root of a tooth in order to numb a tooth. Uh, it is phenomenal for pediatrics. I have used it for extractions. I've used it for crown preparations. I've used it for endodontics. Patients do not require a topical anesthetic, and there is no residual external numbness involved when your, when your procedure is completed. Okay, if you're listening to this on iTunes, you might want to switch to uh, YouTube or Dental Town see it, but it looks kind of like a ligament jet. It's like a ligament jet. So what, what is the difference the, the between difference this and a ligament jet? The difference is that a ligament jet has a needle at the end, and generally I was taught that you need to pierce the periodontal ligament at the base of the sulcus and inject anesthesia under very high pressure into the periodontal ligament in order to accomplish numbness. I use the ligament jet in my practice as the last resort anesthetic. I've given a block, I've given an infiltration, I can't get the tooth profoundly numb, then I used to go to that. What I would find when that worked, and it worked most of the time for me, was that patients had more complaints about the post-operative discomfort of piercing that ligament and breaking the bond at the sulcus. I've had no post-operative discomfort or reports well, of discomfort. Some of the this. research I read in the ligament jets that it didn't even need anesthetic. It was the pressure. You were injecting pressure, water. If you just injected water into the periodontal ligament as the pressure built on the ligament, that would be anesthesia too. So it wasn't even the anesthetic. It was the pressure. Interesting. I did not. I have not read uh, that. that. That's what I read. But the problem with being uh, 53 is that some of the stuff I learned was in uh, 87. Yes. So we still, us old guys know a lot of stuff that's no longer we true. We think the old way. Yeah. So so then, so then you're not injecting pressure into the ligament not jet under like immense the ligament jet. It's not under you're immense just, pressure. You can't, you can't really break the cartridge. You're just despot the depositing anesthetic under mild pressure. <laughs> and and who, who invented this? This product was invented by... But a practicing dentist. Absolutely. And why? Why does he want to be anonymous? Just, uh, just, just doesn't want his name in the spotlight. Yeah, and that's true with a lot of old dentists. I remember when, uh, when I was young and I was trying to do interviews like Bob Ibsen, the founder of mm. Denmat. He didn't want to be interviewed. Uh, Dan Fisher of all time. Um, Bill Dragon of Centric Syringe. Every time I say, "Well, I want to interview," the, everybody wants to know the dentist behind the company. He's like, "No, no, no." <laughs> They're all. They all seem to be shy, introvert. Don't want a lot of attention. But so. Do you, um, what percent of the time are you using that for anesthetic? I'm using this about 85 to 90 percent of the time now. For what procedures? All procedures. I mean, a root canal, an yes. extraction? Yeah, root canal, extraction, are crown you preparation. You're, you're using that for an extraction? Yeah. yeah, pediatric and adult extraction. Wow. Yeah. And so the name of the company the is? The name of the company is Novoject, N O V O J E C T dot com. For Novocaine, I say. And the name of the product is the Numby. And where did, so Novajet came from Novocaine injection. Right. Where did Numby come from? Numbing from, from 
from a sting. Nunging from a sting. Instead of getting stung, you get numb instead. Instead of getting stung from a bumblebee, you're getting numb from a bee. Exactly. That, that's cute. I, I, I like it. And, uh, and like I say, I think, um, I think a lot of older dentists have told me, in fact, the dentist told me just yesterday, just right here, he said, you know what, he was, he was 65 and he's retiring. I said, well, stop by and just talk to the young kids. You're getting ready to retire. And, and these, most of the people watching these podcasts, they're, they're, they're all been out of school under five years. And he said, you know what, if you can't give a painless shot, you're not going anywhere. You know, I mean, gotta be uh, painless, Paul. You gotta be affordable, available, and painless. And the dentists all want to hear that you need a laser and a CAD cam and a same day crown. And you know, they just invent stuff. They just spend all their time, their whole careers figuring out how to do dentistry more complicated, more expensive with higher overhead. And I'll tell you the bottom day, be affordable, be available, and have a pain free injection. And that's what you're saying. That's you, exactly what this does. And and how much more pain free do you think that is than a block or a shot or a Signif- significantly. And sure. I, I pride myself on being painless Paul and giving a good injection. Painless Paul. And and then go through the cost list. So how much would be the syringe? How much would be the, the- syringe runs two seventy five. Okay. The package of forty numby tips runs fifty dollars. Okay, and do they buy this through their Patterson's? Ben no, this Car, is a Burkhart? this is a direct from this, the manufacturer product. So the website to buy them would be novojet.com. Yes, that is correct. N o v o j e c t dot com. Right. Right on. All right, buddy. Well, uh, thanks for stopping by the booth. Pleasure's and been all mine, Howard. Your company, and I suggest that you get on a Dental Town. Well, let, let's do this. Let's do this right now. So on Dental Town. The app is on your smartphone for free. There's 205,000 dentists. That little, that little round Google search deal. Mm-hmm. Cammy, how much did that Google search appliance cost us? Isn't it like fifty fifty thousand dollars? So when you go to a website, so I'm gonna type. Should I type in Novoject or Bumblebee? I'll, I'll try Numbee first. Uh, Novoject. Novoject. No, he's checking Dental Town to see Novoject. if anybody is talking about it on Dental Town. Yeah, no eject, numb, B. Because you be numb. <laughs> yeah, so I just did a search for it. No one's talked about it yet. I thought it, I thought it was amazing. Um, anesthesiology, if you're a wet glove dentist, you should go under anesthesiology. I and, will. I'll and, post uh, a discussion about this about tomorrow or Friday yeah. at the office. And then when this podcast comes out where you started a thread on this, mm-hmm. Um, we post it on Dental Town, YouTube, and iTunes. So when we post this thread on there, you could hit reply, and then you could go to YouTube, mm. and where it says share, right. there's uh, the link or embed. You can copy the embed, go back to Dental Town, hit the YouTube button, drop the embed in there, and now the YouTube video of this interview is right there. Fabulous. So then they get to see you. Fantastic. All right, buddy. Howard.